certificate or education in visual performing arts. Uh, and believe it or not, we're, we're going back to the old standard that was established under CARE and I think maybe even before CARE. Uh, because it's just, we uh, school districts had the opportunity to uh, incorporate arts education in with other classes through projects and stuff like that. And in the pro and I don't think it was anybody's intent, but through the years and through the process with budget constraints and stuff, we've lost a lot of schools. Uh, visual performing arts is one of, the, one of the first things they cut when they start when they get into budget currencies. And this is an effort to protect that. And, and uh, the, the the great thing about this is I've been able uh, the lady that helped bring this to my attention that I worked hand in hand with this was my high school band teacher Tanya Bromley. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I wasn't in the band, but I was in the chorus and everything, but my daughter's in the band. And, uh, of course, and, and I was involved with the music and, and the drama and stuff in high school and, and worked with Miss Bromley quite a bit on that type of things. But just, you know, we all have our favorite teachers, and, you know, I was always in the chorus in the band room, and there was always Bob Myers and Tanya Bromley, and, and, and the opportunity to be able to work with her on on a professional level like this has been tremendous and, and of course we sit there and reminisce about my <laughs> high school days and, and but she is although she's retired from teaching she's still an integral part of uh, the Kentucky Music Ed Educators Association and is always out there trying to, to make things better for our students and so I'm real excited we actually filed this bill last year I filed it late we were uh, in uh, we we were just too late to get a committee hearing to get it to move it. but we put it out there because we wanted people to start looking at it and so this year we've been able to get some feedback from some people so over the summer we, we've tweaked the bill and we think made it better and it's pre-filed and them are them are my two uh, primary uh, bills that I'm working on I am working on a bill with for our hemp, our industrial hemp farmers uh, and uh, you had mentioned that earlier yeah, about the hemp cigarettes. And, and, and it's, a, it's a cigarette made out of um, uh, industrial hemp. And you can get the ability, if I understand, and I'm still learning about how all this interacts, but the difference between this and just a normal cigarette, I do believe that by smoking this, you can get the same benefits that you can get from CBD oil. Okay. And so that would make it, and so like uh, the people uh, that brought this to my attention, uh, Mr. Ammerman in Harrison County, uh, and, and I met with them and then they started explaining and educating me on this. Uh, the, I agree, he made the comment, he said, you know Mark, this isn't a, a cigarette that people are going to smoke a pack a day, or you know, you might smoke one or two a day. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, it's not, the, it's not, when we think of cigarettes, we don't, we think of, you know, a pack of cigarettes that you smoke just for the, relaxation or the enjoyment of the tobacco or the nicotine or whatever. This will be a little bit different because it you'll get to see you'll get some benefits from it. But uh, so we're working on that. Uh, that's in its very early stages. I'm meeting with the, the, the uh, Commissioner of Agriculture to work on this. Uh, we're, we're not sure what obstacles we're going to have with it. Uh, we do know that uh, we're probably going to get some pushback from the, uh, the state police and the FOP. Because one of the disadvantages of this cigarette is that when people smoke it, it smells like pot. Ah. Because it is a hemp. Gotcha. Uh, and, and, and the law enforcement, they're, they're up in arms, or they're not really up in arms, but their big concern is how are we going to differentiate between that and, and marijuana that's still illegal in our state. Yeah. When does the, the General Assembly actually start? What day? General Assembly, we go back into session on January the 7th. Okay, so and Tuesday, January 7th. Tuesday, January 7th. And I'm actually hoping to have a bill drafted by the 1st of January. And uh, our goal is we're going we're gonna to draft the, the bill on this, hemp, on this hemp cigarette. And then we're going to start uh, pushing it out there and trying to get feedback. Uh, we're not sure. Uh, we're trying, you know, with any bill, you always look at who's going to be against it, who's going to be for it. Uh, I think overall, most of the people that are growing industrial hemp be supportive of it. Uh, it's going to give them an opportunity to sell their product and, and in our case it's going to give our local hemp farmers the opportunity to sell the product to a local cigarette company. Uh, 90 days long? Is that how long the session is? 60. 
60 days, so it's only 60 days. April 15th, I think, is the last day. And that's not calendar days. That's no, days calendar. in session, Monday through Friday, most times. Most times. But see, we're off for uh, Martin Luther King Day. Yeah. There, there's some days in there. And then, of course, there's there's the 10-day veto period where we're not really meeting, but the governor's looking over our bills to decide what he's going to sign, what he's going to veto. And then we have three days to come back to where anything he vetoes we. So it's not 10 calendar days. So it will actually last until about April 15th. About April 15th. Isn't that tax day, April 15th? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I think, if I remember my calendar right, I think April 15th is also the last day of session this time. Okay. I don't know. I have to go back and look. But. Gotcha. Well, thank you and, and uh, for driving up here to Covington. Senator Schroeder in his uh, private practice here has a great view that I love to have behind you all as you go. There was a nice oh, barge yeah. moving up the, the stream or up the river as we were videotaping. But thank you for spending a few minutes with us and uh, hopefully have a good session. And any, I'll throw this out there at the end. Anything that we've talked about on this video, if you all want some clarification or want to know uh, what my position is a little bit further, feel free to contact me. We can talk. All right.